busy, busy travel day coming up. Well, I mean, not that busy. I got like three flights to catch. I think it's like a 12 hour travel day or something like that. I'm going to Atlanta first and then Toronto and then Kelowna. I've probably done this travel day <laughs> at least 15 times. That's crazy. At least. So I've been back and forth from Jax to Kelowna a lot of times. So I'm pretty used to it. Leaving this guy right now, we'll be away for like Month? Is it or is it like three it's weeks? It's actually only three weeks, bro. It's actually only three yeah. weeks. Yeah, so we came here and we got stuff done. I don't know if I told you guys, <laughs> but we have been filming pretty much every single day. I think we had like maybe like five days total of me being here for the three weeks that we didn't really do much. And even on those days, he was probably like writing a script for the next day because every day we were knocking on a new video. So it was actually super productive. Probably our most productive trip. I think so, definitely. We got to do it again, bro. Yeah, we gotta do it again. One month on, one month off. One month on. <laughs> it's like I'm working in the oil fields, man. I'm on a cycle. So yeah, the most productive weeks we ever had. And now when I go back, I have all the videos. So the stuff that's not actually done and not edited, I have it all. I get to go home, I can edit it up, and then I'll upload it to him. But right now, as far as edit wise, I'm actually two and a half weeks ahead. So everything is done up to two and a half weeks ahead. So, but I'm still gonna go home and act like I still have stuff to do for like the next day. So. I'm just getting everything done because that's just the way I am. I don't like leaving things to the last minute and it's just better that way as far as like if something was wrong, but we don't hope nothing's wrong. No, hell no, bro. We got, <laughs> we got it all, so. Headed to the airport right now and um, hopefully I'm on time. <laughs> got a new girl every week. I'm always switching them up. First I'm like head over heels. And I just don't give a fuck. So I have finally made it back to Kelowna. It has been a super, super long traveling whatever this was. I left Jacksonville, went to Atlanta. When we got to Atlanta, that's when like all the problems started. I got there and the plane that we got on was broken. So we had to get off the plane and get onto a new plane. And then that plane couldn't land in Toronto because it was like bad weather conditions. So it was just a whole ordeal with that. Had to land in New York for like an hour or so then go back to Toronto and then of course I miss all my connected flights so I had to stay overnight in Toronto so this is like two days past uh, when I first started this vlog but we finally home mom picked me up tons of snow here super cold I'm not happy to be back in the snow but I'm happy to be back in like a routine going to my own gym going to my own gym is like huge for me like I love being at my home gym so finally back into the routine that'll help me stay on track a little bit just to start this prep so before we get too far into these prepping videos I need to go ahead and give you guys a physique update I know I've done a bad job of being transparent and updating you guys with my physique throughout the boat so got to start these first few videos off off, giving you guys a reference point so that you can see this crazy transformation throughout the series. Excuse the hat, the hair is just not looking too good right now, but just give you guys an idea of what I'm looking like. 220 right now, and I would consider this peak bulk right now. Um, all in all, looking at the physique, it's really not the worst starting point ever. I tend to be like a leaner guy, so I'm gonna get obviously way more lean than this over the next couple weeks, gonna get crazy shredded, and I'm gonna use this video to be like the reference of what we started out. So yeah, 220 started a cut what your boy looking like right now. We are actually about to meet up with Patty Lips right now. Obviously, I've been away from home, so I haven't been working out with anyone else for a while, so it feels good to be going to work out with one of the boys right now. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, you would know that I am starting a new program. So throughout this workout, I'm gonna do a voiceover so I can go in depth of how this program's gonna look, what the program is, where you can get the program, what I'm gonna be doing, how it goes hand in hand with this whole training for the show. All, all that is gonna be going over in the voiceover. So we're about to go pick up Patty List right now and get that little workout in. But I wanna show you guys something real quick. I picked this up on the way home. I do have like a ton of PE. I think I've already showed you guys that. I don't even think I've opened like half of the PE that I have. But like I've said in previous vlogs, I tend to like having a bit of whey protein kicking around. So whenever I run out of this, I usually switch back to the PE and then when I can get my hands on a little bit more whey protein, I'll go back to it. This is the chocolate cheesecake from Mutant. Honestly, man, this stuff tastes amazing. And since I ran out of Jeff's Kiwi pre-workout, which I will honestly say is my favorite pre-workout right now, I had to go ahead and pick up some new pre-workout. This is Mammoth. I think this is a pink lemonade. Never tried Mammoth. I don't know what the hell it is. Hope it's not trash. It has 60 servings, 200 milligrams of scoop. So I thought that was pretty good. Buddy at the store said it was a good deal. So we're going to trust Buddy at the store. And hopefully this is a good pre-workout. So I just dropped my 10K video, which is actually doing crazy numbers right now. I think it's at like 
like 10K within the first day. That's my most viewed video within the shortest amount of time, which is, I, I just can't put it all together, but I appreciate everybody who watched that video. There was like a bit of hate on the video. They were just talking down upon like doing 10Ks and doing challenges and uh, other people who do challenges and stuff like that. Honestly, I was just super confused by that because if I don't like something, I'm not just gonna go out of my way to negatively talk about other people um, or bash them. <laughs> Howdy, sir. You just tried to open my door. <laughs> Yo, I tried to pull up. I saw, I saw you coming out the door. Uh, yeah, I already saw you. <laughs> but no, what I'm trying to say is I don't see why people would feel the need to kind of like negatively talk or down on what someone else is doing. Future advice, I would say just keep it to yourself because, you know I mean, you're not making anyone's day better and you're not making your day better. So that's like... My advice. That's facts. Bro. That's facts. On a higher note, thank you to everybody who watched the video, man. The video numbers are doing crazy numbers. So, hey, some people liked it. So, I, you know. Redemption coming soon. Redemption coming soon. Yo, Patty did the 10K challenge and he got to what, 95? Something, 9,000, something. 9,000. So, I can't even imagine, bro. That would have been, I would have so full by 9,000. Honestly, bro, I don't think I'm going to do a redemption. <laughs> <laughs> F that, bro. I do not see myself doing a redemption, man. I felt so nasty after that. Oh, you're nasty, though. Nah, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty. Bro, I'm going to watch you do the redemption because I can't see myself doing that again, man. Like, I'm doing a cheat day, though. So when we all go down to my show, uh, he'll be there and we'll probably do a cheat day after my show. Um, actually, a couple of people are competing. Everybody's saying they're competing. But I don't know who's actually going to show up. Probably do a cheat day after that. So look forward to that. No redemption on the 10K, though. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the program I am gonna be running for the next eight weeks is Jeff's Push Pull Legs program. This program is actually focused more for an intermediate to advanced. I am in block one, week one of the program. So today I'm gonna to be running you guys through the second pull day of week one. Pat and I actually went in the gym together, but we didn't work out together because we're running two different programs right now. So there may be a couple exercises that I did not get on film. I tried to get majority of them without kind of like bothering each other during our workout. So if I do miss an exercise, just kind of trust that I did it. Second pull day of the week starts out with some neutral grip pull downs. We did three sets for 10 to 12 reps at an RPE of eight. Fairly heavy on this. And the program actually has cues for every exercise that we do. So the cue on this one was pull your elbows down against your side. These exercises are fairly familiar to me with this program being slightly similar to what I usually do, but the rep ranges are switched up, the RPEs are switched up, and um, sometimes he'll throw in like supersets and stuff like that. So the next thing we moved on to was actually a superset. Start out with a cable seated row with the elbows out. You do that for 10 reps at an RP8. This cue on this is to focus on scapular retraction, pull with your elbows up and out. With no rest time right after that, you get into a cable seated row. So this is just like an ordinary cable seated row for 10 reps at an RP8. And we did this for three sets. Next thing we did was a nailing straight arm cable pullover. And we did this for three sets, 15 reps with an RPE of seven. The cue on this is actually to lean your torso forward, focus on pulling the weight straight down and not out. To make it simple, pull the weight all the way down instead of pulling the weight out, which will be squeezing the traps instead of squeezing the lats. Next thing we did was a snatch grip barbell shrug for three sets, 15 reps, RPE eight. The cue on this is actually to use a 1.5 shoulder whip grip, control the weight and shrug up to your ears. I kept the weight moderately low for this. I think my RPE was probably around like RPE six instead of eight. First time doing barbell shrugs in a really long time. I usually do dumbbell shrugs. So I was trying to kind of like find my weight on that. The last thing we did was two bicep movements. And the first one that we did was a single arm cable curl for three sets, 12 reps, RPE seven, one to two minute rest time. The cue on this is to stand upright, keep your elbow behind your torso and squeeze at the top. We finished out with a hammer curl. This was at the point where Pat left. So I actually didn't get to film that clip, but we did that for three sets for eight reps, RPE seven. And the cue on that is to focus on squeezing your biceps to move the weight. So that was the entire workout. Honestly, I am loving this program so far. And I'm not saying that because he's a good friend of mine. This is actually a really good program. I'm gonna be running this for the next bit. Excited to take you guys through this program with me. Looking forward to using this to make a lot of progress as I go through this prep. I wanna get stronger, not weaker as I get later. I know that usually doesn't happen, but I'm gonna be training hard as hell to make sure that happens. So look forward to bringing you guys along with me. I'm gonna end the video right here. If you you're new join the crew subscribe to the channel leave this video a like before you leave and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video